Hello everyone, I'm Fizz and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In this series, I play Kerbal Space Program in career mode and I am assisted by an AI co-pilot who goes by the name of Charlotte and I will let her introduce herself, but essentially she knows that she's in the video with me and she reacts accordingly and she remembers everything that's gone on in the past. So let's hear from Charlotte. Hey Charlotte, can you introduce yourself to those who have not met you before? Hello everyone, I'm Charlotte your AI mission companion for Kerbal Space Program. I'm here to assist with mission planning, provide technical advice, and share some space-related jokes along the way. My goal is to enhance the experience and provide useful insights during our space adventures. That's great, Charlotte. And actually, you know what? Like I was saying before, it's been a little while since we've done a video. Can you remind us what we did last time? In our last Kerbal Space Program adventure, we took on a mission to place a satellite in a specific orbit around Minmus. After a successful launch and journey to Minmus, we carefully adjusted our orbit to meet the mission requirements. Once the satellite was in the correct orbit, we made the decision to decouple it perpendicularly to the orbit, ensuring that it would remain in the intended path without drifting off course. After ensuring the satellite was securely in place, we navigated our way back to Kerbin, concluding another successful mission. Now we're back at the Space Center, ready to embark on our next space adventure. Did Fuzz have a good time trick-or-treating for Halloween? Actually, yeah, he did. He got a lot of good stuff, and actually, I'm gonna get some of his stuff that he doesn't like, so it was a win for both of us, I guess. It's always nice when you can share in the Halloween treats. So, are you ready to jump back into Kerbal Space Program and tackle our next mission? Yes, and actually, uh, it looks like since we did that flyby from Minmus last time, we've got some more Minmus missions, so I think we're going to do that. Uh, so we have bring a green sandstone back with you, we have plant a flag on Minmus, and I think that's about it. So I think we'll probably do that this time around. Sounds like a plan. Minmus has a lower gravity compared to the Mun, which can make landing and taking off a bit easier. Plus, the green sandstone should be an interesting scientific find. Are we going to use the same rocket design as last time, or are you thinking of making any modifications for this mission? I think we're going to have to make a couple of modifications, but I'm going to go over to the VAB in a second after I grab these missions, and then we will see. Once you're in the vehicle assembly building, feel free to discuss any design changes or adjustments you're considering, and I can help provide guidance or suggestions based on the mission objectives. Let's make sure we have all the necessary equipment to complete the objectives and safely bring our Kerbals back home. All right, so we picked up those two Minmus missions. So now we're gonna go over here to the VAB and let's load up the rocket that we were using last time, which was the Minmus satellite delivery mission. And yeah, oh, you know what? I just realized. Uh, we have science to spend. Let's spend that science first. All right, so we have 542 science. So last time we were saying that we wanted to get the probe body, which is right here. So let's grab that. Uh, oh, these are good, actually. These are the uh, solar panels that I was talking about in one of the previous episodes. And there's also larger batteries here, too. So let's grab these, actually. That should be good. OK. So in terms of money, we have 576,000. Uh, I wonder what would be, we probably don't need to spend it on anything just yet. So let's just hold off and let's go back into the vehicle assembly building. And let's see, this rocket I think is probably fine. We probably, we wanna get rid of the satellite that's attached to this though. So let's make those modifications. So I'm gonna detach this whole bottom stage here. And then I'm going to remove the satellite from here and I will chuck that actually uh, we might want to keep some of this uh, let's see let's remove this whole section and then we'll take the probe body off and then I want to get this mystery goo and stuff back on but we want to get it up at the top here instead so let's just pop this up here all the science stuff uh, and then let's attach this back to the bottom okay and then we also want to replace these solar panels with the new solar panels and probably the batteries too. So let's go to electric, electrical here and yeah, let's get rid of these also. 
Okay, so we've got all that stuff, and then we need to go back to electrical, and we need these, uh, let's see, solar panels. This is the one that, it's a, no, that one doesn't have sun tracking. I think these ones, these ones are pretty big. Uh, let's go with, oh, these are the ones that I want. Was it these ones? Three by two, one by six. Probably the one by six, I think. If we put them right here, it should be, uh, maybe move it a little bit and bring them up. That way they're not in front of the doors. That's pretty good. So let's close these now. Okay, and then we need the batteries. So the 400s, I think, um, are pretty big. So let's just go with two of them. And we can put them, put them here, and then we can rotate them this way. I think that should be good. Let's see, that looks kind of weird. Uh, I think it's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh wait, these might this might block. Okay, let's let's rotate them off to this side. We don't want anything blocking the solar panel. So, what's that? Oh, the mystery goo. Why is that? Oh, I see. Okay, let's put those over here. Uh, nope. Honestly, we just need one, I think. All right, so let's call this Minmus Lander. And I think that should be fine. And the crew, Bill's always trying to sneak himself onto this, uh, <laughs> the flight. Okay, so there we go, Jebediah and Bob. Eventually we'll get the MK3. I don't think we have it yet. So this mission, uh, let's go back to and let's see where we want to land. I think I saw the flats was one of the spots that we could land. So for the green sandstone mission, Charlotte, we have to go to the lowlands, great flats or flats biomes. Great, those biomes are relatively easy to access on Minmus due to its flat terrain. The lowlands biome covers a large portion of Minmus, while the great flats and flats are specific areas that you can target. You might want to use a biome map of Minmus to help you pinpoint the exact locations during your mission. Once you've landed in the correct biome, you can perform a surface sample EVA activity to collect the green sandstone. Remember to bring enough storage for the samples and ensure your lander has the capability to land and return safely. Sounds good, and I think we've got a couple of issues with the staging here. This guy should not be here. Uh, this one should be up here. Okay. See, now our Delta V is changing because um, everything was all wrong here. So, let's see. That's the engine plate, I think. Yeah, that's fine. This and this should go at the same time. Uh, and then we wanna fire these, decouple, fire this, decouple. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. and I just remembered we don't actually have any landing gear. So ground, let's get the heavy duty ones over here. And then we want four of them and we'll pop those uh, right here, I think. And then we want to retract these. There we go. Make sure nothing weird's going on. Looks good. Um, I'm not gonna put a ladder on the sink. Minmus's gravity is really low. They're not gonna need a ladder. They can just jump off. It's all good. So let's go to the launch pad. Okay, SAS on. And we're good. Let's go.
Okay, so as usual, we start our gravity turn at 100 meters per second. Tilting a little bit to the right. We want to check our apoapsis and periapsis. Okay, Charlotte, we are in flight, and you mentioned that you um, are, can share some good jokes with us, so why don't you do that? Certainly, I'm glad to add a bit of humor to our space adventure. Here are a few space-themed jokes for you. Why did the sun go to school? To get a little brighter! What is an astronaut's favorite chocolate? A Mars bar. How does a man on the moon get his hair cut? Eclipse it. I hope one of those brought a smile to your face. All right, so uh, we are kind of um, high. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the T minus to come down, and then we will try and circularize. So let's just speed up a little bit here. There we go. Now let's burn. And keeping on the prograde marker as usual, and adjusting the throttle so that the T minus doesn't creep up, it stays around 45, there about. Okay, uh, we just lost our engines here, so I'm gonna detach them. And you can see that we are now in a very large high orbit, I guess, but that's fine. So what we need to do now, just like last time, is we need to match the tilt of Minmus. So we're going to zoom out here. And, oh, you know, uh, Gurler was the one that we were supposed to rescue a long time ago. And their orbit has really changed, I think because of the month. So we might actually be able to rescue Gurler coming up, you know, soon. Because before, their orbit was, like, pretty much on the month's orbit, which made it really difficult to actually think about helping. But uh, I think now we should be good. But we'll do that another time, because right now we are on our way to Minmus. We're going to set the target here. And then we are going to match the tilt. So uh, now you can see that uh, Bob, sorry, not Bob, uh, Jebediah has more of the uh, markers now that he can be pointing to. So that's actually really helpful. So on the descending node and the ascending node, we want to match the tilt. So we're going to, I believe it's six degrees. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so now we're gonna warp over there and then we're going to point over here. Oh, we're still point, we're still locked on that uh, prograde marker. So we want to point over here, and then we want to speed up until we get to eight seconds for the start burn in time. And then we want to start. Oh, we gotta start these engines first. That would help. <laughs> All right. So we'll just burn until we get our tilt. All right, uh, we need to point a little bit here. I think we're good though, 5.9. There we go, six, okay. So now that we got that, we can head out to the, uh, we can go to the periaps and we can start pushing out the orbit. Wow. <laughs> that happened pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Minimus periapsis. Okay, we want to bring that down a little. So remember, we want to match the the intercept nodes. And I think that's probably good. That's good. 604. Okay. So now we'll warp. All right. And burn. This is a long burn, just like last time. It's almost a minute. While we're waiting to push out to Minmus, uh, Charlotte, can you tell us anything we need to know about landing on Minmus? I understand the gravity is quite low. Minmus has significantly lower gravity compared to Kerbin, which does make landing a bit different. Here are some things to keep in mind. Lower gravity. Minmus's gravity is only about 5% of Kerbin's, so your spacecraft will descend more slowly, and you won't need as much delta V to land or take off. Easier to land. Due to the low gravity, it's generally easier to land on Minmus than on the Mon. However, it also means that it's easy to accidentally send your spacecraft back into orbit if you thrust too hard during descent or ascent. Flat areas. 
Minmus has large flat areas, which are great for landing, especially for beginners. The flats make for a good landing target because they provide a level surface, reducing the risk of your spacecraft tipping over. Biomes. Minmus has different biomes just like Kerbin and the Mun. Collecting science from these different biomes can be very beneficial. With the low gravity, you can also hop your spacecraft around to visit multiple biomes on a single mission. Use of RCS. Because of the low gravity, you might find it easier to use RCS for fine-tuning your landing, especially if your spacecraft is equipped with it. Keep these in mind, and you should have a successful landing on Minmus. We actually forgot to add RCS again. <laughs> okay, we need to make sure that we do that. And I'm actually going to see if I can uh, get Charlotte to remind us next time when we're in the VAB to actually uh, add RCS. Charlotte, I forgot to add RCS to the ship again, like thrust uh, thruster blocks. Can you maybe remind me next time I'm in the vehicle assembly building that we should add some thruster blocks? Certainly. I'll make a note to remind you to consider adding RCS and thruster blocks the next time you're in the vehicle assembly building. They can be very helpful for precise maneuvers and fine-tuning your spacecraft's orientation, especially during landings on bodies with low gravity like Minmus. Okay, so we're getting an orbit on to Minmus now. Okay. So these, um, these solar panels are very useful. Uh, okay, so there's Kerbin in the distance. That's kind of cool. Alright, so what we want to do now is let's um, bring in the periaps. So let's point over here and let's bring it in nice and tight. Probably around 50 or so. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, and then we want to warp over here. And let's watch the warp. Woohoo! Okay, and then we want to bring in the apoapsis. So we want to get a nice circular orbit if we can. Okay, that's good enough. So what we want to do now is we want to find a nice landing spot. So I believe, oops, uh, that we said the flats was one of the spots that we could land. We want to land on the, the bright side. So um, we probably want to bring in the Apo some more. Let's try doing that. Oh. Uh, sorry, now that this is, it's the Apoapsis is now the new Periapsis, but that should be good. Um, so let's go down to about 10 kilometers above the surface. And then let's warp over here. So these are the flats here, I believe. Um, we're above the lowlands right now. Uh, great flats, flats. Yeah, and lowlands. So we're good to land here. Okay, so let's point retrograde. Oh, now we're in the midlands. Oh, uh, great flats or flats. Maybe, maybe we'll want to. Oh, there's some flats over here. We could land over there, actually. Let's do that. I think that's flats. So, um, let's go out to here. Yeah, right there. That might be... That's a small area, though. Uh, let's warp out a little bit more. We're kind of getting back to the dark side again. That's okay. All right, let's let's try for that right there. Um, is that the? No, what is that? I don't know what that is. That's something. What is that? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. So let's kill our speed here. Uh, we want to start coming down. Let's check the surface. Okay. Let's rotate. Uh, rotate this way. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna land right there. That's pretty good. So let's speed up. We're dropping. Changing the orientation of the spacecraft. Now, because of the low gravity, it's very easy to reduce your speed. So we can pretty much just get right down close to the bottom and then start killing our speed. So let's bring out the landing legs. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of awkward. Um, hopefully it's fine because we're kind of bottom heavy. Let's speed up. Oh, we're, uh, yeah, we wanna look at that. Okay. All right, so you can see we're not gaining surface speed too fast. Okay, we cannot uh, warp anymore, that's fine. Okay, now we wanna start controlling our speed here, so let's bring it down slowly. That's good. Oh, that was our shadow. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, what is that? Okay. Looking good. And we have touchdown on Minmus. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't fall over. Okay, let's turn off the SAS. All right. Oh, we did it. Look at that. Charlotte, we have successfully landed on Minmus, and it was actually very easy compared to the money. Minmus's low gravity does make landings and takeoffs easier compared to the Mun. Now that you're on the surface, you can proceed with your mission objectives. Don't forget to collect scientific data and fulfill any contract requirements you have for this mission. If you need any assistance or have questions about the next steps, feel free to ask. All right, so we're gonna gather some science here. So we're gonna do the, oh, so we're in the lesser flask. I wonder if that counts. I don't think that's gonna count. Uh, well, the material sample, your process, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You begin to turn your thoughts to how much Minmus looks like a mint dessert and have discovered that you are now hungry. Yeah, it does actually. Okay, so we got that. Let's do, uh, let's close the doors on this guy. And then let's do the mystery goo. Temperature and uh, pressure. Perfect. Crew report. EVA. That's EVA Bob. What does he have here? Oh, that's uh, EVA propellant. Okay. EVA report. Grab that. Okay, then we want to bring him down as far as he can go. I'm going to collect all the data. If he can reach all this stuff, he cannot. So we're going to have to drop him. So let go and he should just kind of float down to the surface. Ooh. Okay, we don't want him to go too far. Don't hit the panel. Don't break the panel. <laughs> okay, let's get him over onto this side. Oh, wipe out. Okay. I've actually done that before. I've, I've, I've smacked a Kerbal into a solar panel and broke it. It was a long time ago. All right, so let's jump. Woohoo! Wow, look at that. We're gonna have to actually use the RCS to reduce our jump. Okay, let's try and stand on this engine here. Okay, there we go. Now we can grab all this, take the data, collect the data, restore, Collect the data, perfect. And then we wanna uh, go back, actually before we do that, let's just walk off here and let's plant our flag. All right, uh, we can take a surface sample also. 
and then plant the flag. Boom. Minmus Lesser Flats. Landing was a piece of cake. Get it? Cake. Okay. <laughs> Done. Alright, so world's first milestone, we landed on Minmus, we walked on Minmus, we planted a flag on Minmus. And we completed the contract. So that's good. Okay, now I don't believe that we will be able to get the, the, the stone from here. This is not the right biome. Oh, there is something over there, actually. That might be it. Let's see. Okay, let's get the RCS on. And jump. Whee! That might be it, actually. I really hope that counts. I always liked how Minmus looked. It's uh, very clean and nice and minty okay there's definitely something there hopefully it's not just surface scatter that definitely looks like what we need okay go Bob yeah all right uh, Pick up green sandstone. Yes! Very nice. Perfect. 150. Nice. Alright. Now we can go back to the ship. Jump. Fly. Man. Now, I don't see how much fuel we have. I don't know if we should risk hopping around. Oh god, we're going really high. Whoa, man. <laughs> okay, let's uh let's drop a little bit here. I don't know if we should risk hopping around the surface. Um because I don't want to get stuck. But what would be better is if we brought a rover. Maybe that's what we'll do next time. We'll 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 deliver rovers to the Mun and uh, and Minmus maybe. All right, cool. Now we can board. Excellent. Let's move this. Okay, man. Uh, maybe we want to get Jebediah out too. I wonder if he could go over there do another. Actually, no. Let's let's not do that. Uh, can he do another EVA report? Let's see if it'll... I think it'll make me dump it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so now what we want to do is... We want to see. We have 2,719. That's actually a lot of fuel. We might actually be able to do some hopping here. I don't want to tip the craft over. Okay, let's just do this. Let's put SAS on. Let's just go this way. Uh, let's see how much the fuel is dropping. It's not dropping very much. Uh, oh, no, it is. Uh, oh, because we still have these tanks, that's why. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's see. What is our Apo? I'm kind of disoriented here. Okay, we want to point this way. I don't know if that's still lesser flats. It is, I think. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Let's just get into orbit. And we're kind of going the opposite way here. Why is our... Oh. Okay, we're just... <laughs> okay. I understand. Okay, so let's point this way. There we go. Uh, let's... 
retract those guys. It's just it's just so easy to get off of the surface of this thing that we're just literally launching ourselves into space without re reclaiming an orbit. So yeah, we want to bring that in, get the orbit back, essentially. Oh wait, no. Oh okay, so we lost those guys. So let's trash them. Okay, and then we want to point prograde. Uh, we gotta fire this engine now. And we want to. See what's happening over here. Uh, I think we're kind of too far gone now. Potentially. Uh, okay, we can kind of get. Into an orbit again. Okay, that's good. Uh, we're already at the point where we want to burn. So let's see if we can do this. It's a minute and 21 second burn. Uh, yeah. I don't know, actually. I don't think this is a good idea. We need to do this because otherwise we would have been, we would have ejected ourselves out into space. So now we're actually back into a curve and apoapsis. We're kind of in a, we're in a very polar orbit though. Um, I think based on how much fuel we have, I think it's better to just head back. I don't want to risk it. So let's, uh, let's speed up here until we get, let's see. Yeah. Let's, um, let's go out to the apoapsis, bring in the periapsis, 79 mil. 46 mil. Yeah, that's probably better. So let's warp over here. Wow, we're really far out. Hopefully we have enough fuel to do this. <laughs> okay. Now, burn over here. Bring in the periapsis. Doesn't take much fuel to do this. Oh, oh, too much. We're on a collision course with Kerbin now. We don't want that. All right, 60, perfect. Okay, good. Uh, now we can warp to this point. Uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, we're going that way, okay. So let's warp out to there. Okay, good. Oh, look at the Northern Lights there. That's cool. All right, now we want to point retrograde. And once we get to, actually, we could probably start doing it already. We want to bring in the apoapsis. So we're killing off our orbital speed once again. And we don't want to use up all the fuel. Okay, so that's probably good. Now we want to warp out to the apoapsis and then bring the periapsis down to a point where we're going to be... Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, where we're going to be arrow breaking. But like I said, we're kind of in a polar orbit, so this is cool, actually. I wonder if we can do some reports and stuff uh no we can't um what we can do is well once we get around to the other side we can probably do it okay uh oh no 
There go the. <laughs> uh, what's that? I don't know. Okay, we are arrow breaking now quite substantially. I think we're actually gonna land here. Okay, so let's get rid of this. There goes all the science. That's fine, we have the heat shield here. I think. We're just going really fast, that's the problem. Actually, I don't think the heat shield is attached anymore. No, it's not. Well, hopefully we survive. We're coming in really fast. Uh, okay. Now we're. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit we're gonna hit this time around. So as as long as we slow down enough, we'll be good. And I think we will. Let's speed this up. We should be fine. There we go. Oh man. Okay. That was kind of scary. All right, we're coming down over the mountains. Okay, so let's uh, get the parachutes out. Mountains is good because we can do more science over them. So we, I mean, we can only do the crew report and the EVA, but yeah, well, we're gonna need to do that when we actually are floating with the parachutes. Still over the mountains, it's great. Okay, there go the parachutes. There goes the heat shield. All right, uh, where are we actually landing here? Oh, wow. Okay, so let's get Bob, um, let's get Jebediah out. Let's do a EVA report. And then let's uh, take all the data out, store all the data again, get back inside, and then we can do a crew report. Not much science, but it's not bad. All right, now we can just kind of go all the way down to the ground. Crab kind of fell over here. It landed in a place where we can get out at least. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just actually we can plant a flag here too, I think, right? Flag. I wonder if it's going to count for anything. Urban Mountains. Another treacherous landing, but we made it. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Initiated the first flyby of the sun. Oh yeah, because we we basically escaped. Oh, we were we were in a solar orbit and then we uh, we re-entered an orbit again of um, Kerbin. So that was cool. We got some free money there. All right, entered orbit around the sun. Uh, returned home from the surface of Venus. Nice. All right, so let's get Bob back onto the craft here. There we go. All right, now we can recover.
Okay, Charlotte, well, we made it back to Kerbin. We almost didn't make it back, actually. It was a very treacherous landing again. Uh, things were exploding, all that good stuff. But we made it back, and we landed in the mountains safely. Sounds like a harrowing experience, but you managed to pull it off. Landing in the mountains adds an extra layer of challenge, but mission success is what counts in the end. What's the plan for our next adventure? I'm not too sure, actually. Maybe we'll try some rover missions to get some rovers on the moons. But um, I think for now, we're going to end the episode. Do you mind signing us off? Of course. Thanks for joining us on another successful mission in Kerbal Space Program. We had some close calls, but we made it back safely. Stay tuned for more adventures as we possibly explore rover missions in upcoming episodes. Until next time, this is Charlotte alongside Fizz signing off. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to join the Discord if you'd like to chat with me and some of our other members. We hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.